Trump derides CNN days after administration moves to block media merger. Less than one week after the Department of Justice announced it would seek to block a merger between AT&T and Time Warner, and after President Donald Trump pledged he wouldn't get involved, the president tweeted out a familiar criticism of CNN, a subsidiary of Time Warner. Dot at Fox News is much more important in the United States than CNN, but outside of the U.S., CNN International is still a major source of fake news, and they represent our nation to the world very poorly. The outside world does not see the truth from them, the president tweeted Saturday evening. Trump's public comments against the merger, as well as CNN specifically, have called into question if he is imposing undue influence on the case. Earlier this week, Trump expressed his disapproval toward the deal as he departed the White House to spend Thanksgiving at Mar-a-Lago, but pledged not to get involved. I'm not going to get involved in litigation but personally I've always felt that was a deal that was not good for the country. Trump told reporters on Tuesday, I think your pricing's going to go up. I don't think it is a good deal for the country, but I'm not going to get involved. It's litigation, the president said. During his recent trip to Asia, Trump said to reporters in a gaggle aboard Air Force One that I do not watch much television. He followed that up with a tweet saying he was forced to watch CNN abroad. While in the Philippines I was forced to watch at CNN, which I have not done in months, and again realized how bad, and fake, it is. Loser. CNN responded to the president on Twitter Saturday evening. At Real Donald Trump it's not CNN's job to represent the US to the world, that's yours. Our job is to report the news. Hash facts first. Trump's tweets have been used in legal proceedings before, regarding his administration's travel ban as well as his decision to rescind the Deferred Action of Childhood Arrivals program, during Sergeant Bo Bergdahl's trial. Judge Cole Jeffrey Arnance called the comments Trump made against Bergdahl on the campaign trail troubling, but ultimately decided they would not be expected to affect the case. Trump has been vocal about the blockbuster media merger since his campaign for the presidency. As an example of the power structure I'm fighting, AT&T is buying Time Warner and thus CNN, a deal we will not approve in my administration because it's too much concentration of power in the hands of too few, Trump said at a campaign event in October 2016.